it's just very heartbreaking um, and very, I'm just kind of still in shock processing um, this entire term. It's been a week, but a Fresno Unified student says they're still shaken up after what a teacher allegedly said in the classroom last week. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning us in. I'm Ken Malloy. And I'm Catherine Herr. The incident happened at Edison High School. The student says a conversation about their history book escalated with the teacher reportedly using a racial slur in front of the entire class. CBS 47's Dennis Valera spoke with the student. On the journey, which became known as the Trail of Tears. First, it was about the Trail of Tears. Alina Cotton and her friend in math class last saying their history book downplays the event. Cotton then got into a back and forth with her math teacher, who reportedly decided to weigh in on the subject, eventually moving on to the topic of language, what's acceptable and what's not, allegedly resulting in her teacher saying the N-word. When my mother was a little girl, she said she would go play with the little girl across the street. Cotton says her teacher said it again as she was walking out of the room. What really scared her about it? How her teacher said it. She laughed and smiled at me. There was no form of um, professionalism, like maybe I shouldn't state this specific derogatory racial term in front of an entire class of 30 students. Since last week, Fresno Unified has stepped in to investigate. I got this statement saying per the district's process, the teacher is now on administrative leave until the investigation is complete. Cotton says staff at Edison, including the principal, have been helpful in the week since, but is having a hard time coming to grips with what she claims her teacher said. They are very, very proactive. They're helping me. It's just uh, that the situation's bigger than me. Alina Cotton tells me members of the school board have already reached out to her and she has meetings planned with them later this week. Reporting here at Edison High School in Fresno, Dennis Valera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.